Hello students, welcome back to our channel. So in today's vi video, we are going to discuss about the PhD examination, which is from VIT uh, Institute. So just uh, search the VIT PhD ad admission 2024. So you will see the uh, link uh, of this examination. So you just first the, uh, click the first link. Okay. So whenever you click the first link, you will see VIT research entrance examination, uh, which is called VITRI. Okay. So this is for July session. So this is the information about VITRI exam. So what is the full form of VITRI? This is Valor Institute of Technology Research Entrance Examination is conducted for uh, admission to various PhD and direct PhD program in VIT groups. So what are VIT groups or uh, uh, where are these groups? Okay, so these are four institute. Okay, so first one is in uh, your in Bhopal and uh, I will discuss about uh, REST 3 Institute. Okay, so this exam uh, contains 100 questions in which uh, 70 questions uh, will be your technical from your technical course like uh, chemistry. It, it can be from chemistry, physics, mathematics, 15 questions from English communication skills. Statics and probability will contain 15 questions. Okay. So this will uh, like uh, divide in three uh, three parts. Okay. So first one is your technical or subjective paper. Uh, sorry, it will be your objective paper, but uh, it will come from your subject. Right. So 70 questions will come from your subject. 15 questions will come from English communication skills. And 15 qu questions will come from your uh, this uh, aesthetics and probability, right? So, and uh, there will be no negative markings. You can see here, this is no negative markings. So, this is the good chance if you want to uh, do PSD. So, this notification is for you. You can fill the form and uh, uh, qualify the exam. And uh, yes, you will be eligible for uh, VIT research group if you will qualify the exam. So what are the uh, like the examination fees? So this is 1200 and uh, what is the last date? This is 25th of April 2024. So uh, now this is the time to uh, like uh, uh, discuss the complete information browser. So just click the information browser. You can see here there are three uh, options you can see here. First one is information browser. Second one is your syllabus and Third one is your research proposal template. So whenever you uh, click on information browser, you will see here, this is the complete information uh, browser. Okay, so first uh, let me zoom this browser so that you can see easily. Okay, now this is completely visible, right? So you can see here, this is the index. Uh, in this index, it contains uh, VIT information and uh, what is the July session like uh, about examination and uh, many information you can see here. What is the minimum qualification for admission, category and eligibility, selection process, everything uh, they mentioned here. Okay, so... If you want to know about more information about VIT, you can uh, see slide number one, two, th yeah, one and two, right? Okay. So uh, now this portion in slide number four, this portion is a research program offered at a VIT Valor campus. Okay. This is for Valor campus, right? I said you there are four campus or four institute of VIT. So first one is Valor campus. Okay. So whenever you fill the form, they will ask the uh, uh, this uh, question paper code. So if you are coming from physics background, so you will fill the PHY. Okay. If you come from chemistry exam uh, background, so you will uh, your question paper code will be CHY, right? So you can see according to your subject or your branch. Okay, so these are schools like School of Advanced Sciences, School of Biosciences and Technology. So you can uh, you can see and according to your branch. Okay, so in which branch you will coming from. And then uh, which branch you want to select for your PhD, right? So from here, you can see the uh, question, question paper code. Okay. So yes, this is the code. Okay. Now, 
uh, I already discussed about uh, what Velo campus. Now, uh, here, uh, whenever you will scroll out, uh, okay. So these are the uh, these are divided in uh, campuses, uh, campus into schools and uh, centers. Okay, so this is VIT Velo campus. This is for center. Okay. So you can see from here everything you can find out. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now we will discuss the minimum eligibility. Okay. Uh, this is uh, information for Chennai campus. Okay. So you can see here which campus you want to uh, you want for your uh, PSG. So you can search according to your uh, nearest place or interesting place. Okay. Now coming to the next point, which is minimum qualification for admission. So if you want to PhD and do PhD in engineering stream, so you should have 10 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 uh, degree, okay, or equivalent qualification. What is 10 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2? 10 means your 12th examination. Plus 2 means your 12th, uh, 10 means your 10th examination. 10 plus 2 is your uh, 12th examination. And uh, then plus four means what? Your B.Tech degree. And plus two means your M.Tech degree. So just uh, after M.Tech, you can uh, you can uh, uh, fill this form for examination. If you will qualify, then you are eligible for PhD program. Okay. If you are coming from uh, like a non-engineering background, so you should have 10 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 pattern studies like uh, first one is 10th, then 12th, then BSc, then MSc, right? So this is your complete pattern. If you are doing integrated MSc, it means uh, M, uh, BSc plus MSc, so you should have 10 plus 2 plus 5 pattern exam qualification, okay? So you can match your qualification from here. Okay, so after that, you can decide uh, your qualification is uh, matching or not. Okay, now this is the uh, like uh, eligibility for uh, different different streams. So like if you want to do uh, your PhD in sciences, so you should have 60% marks or 6.5 CGPA in uh, 10 point scale. Okay, so according to this you can uh, match your eligibility criteria okay so i will not dis discuss all the uh, like uh, all streams i will discuss any randomly any one stream so you can correlate with it okay so yes this is the uh, this is the complete stream or uh, eligibility for this okay so these are relevant area you can uh, see from here okay so now we will we will see the guidelines so you can see this is for foreigner uh, nationals jo ki, uh, which are uh, coming from abroad so this is for uh, that students uh, yeah so this is the complete notification so now if you want to see the tuition fees what is the tuition fees or uh, how much amount you have to pay so you can see here 30 uh sorry 3000 is your cost and deposit and 40000 per year is your fees and after uh, during thesis submission you have to pay 10000 so uh, per year you have to submit 40000 okay if you are uh, part time or external phd then uh, 60000 you have to pay this is 40,000 for full-time PhD, 60,000 for part-time PhD. And uh, if you are coming from any industrial uh, background, so you have to pay 75,000. If you want to do direct PhD, then you have to pay 40,000. And uh, the thesis fees 10,000 10, is same for all students. Okay, now what? Uh, uh, now I am talking about the research fellowship, like uh, what amount to, they will pay for you. Okay, so in first year, they will pay 31,000 if you have a uh, gate qualification, okay, and 60% uh, percentile above then 60% percentile. okay, so in, in second year, they will pay 35,000 and in third year, again, they will pay 35,000 per month, right, and uh, if uh, other students, like they are not qualified gate, but uh, they qualified this victory exam, 
they will pay uh, 25,000 in first year and in second year and third year, they will pay 31,000, okay? And uh, for direct PSD, you can see the fellowship amount here, okay? This is the uh, other information. If uh, other information, you can see, I already told you 1,200 is the application fee and the 24th March, uh, April is last date to fill the form. These all are uh, for campus email ID. If you have any query, you can directly contact to them. Okay. Now I will show the, now I will show the, these 39 centers, sorry, 59 centers you can see here from which uh, you can uh, appear in exam so yes these are the cities in uh, different different state they will be the uh, these cities will be the center of your exam okay and uh, your exam will be on uh, 5th of may on sunday okay from 2 30 to 4 30 two hours exam you have to give okay and these are the important dates like uh, 24th of january uh, is uh, issued of uh, online application form. Last date is 25th of April. And uh, this is uh, your uh, exam date, 5th May 2024. And personal interview date is 18th and 19th May. And the result will announce on uh, 29th of May. And uh, again, guide selected and uh, uh, rest uh, procedure will be announced soon. Okay, so yes, this is the complete information. Now, next, you can see the syllabus from here. So whatever stream you are from, you are belonging in, uh, you just uh, see your uh, stream and uh, this is the content. If like you, if you are coming from uh, physics stream, so you can see the page number six. Okay, this is the page number six. So from here, you can see the syllabus, okay? Now, this is the, uh, what is the research proposal? Because whenever you fill the form, they will ask for research proposal. So this is the template. You can, uh, you will write your research pro uh, proposal in this uh, pattern. Okay. So yes, this is the complete notification. If, if you have any query, you can directly uh, send uh, any uh, comment in comment box. We will there for you for your help. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Meet in next video.